Breaking news right now out of Richmond, where our team is following former Governor Bob McDonald's appeal. Ten on your side's Andy Fox and Joe Fisher have been following this case since last year when a federal jury found McDonald and his wife guilty of trading political favors for gifts and loans. And Andy, you just spoke with McDonald outside the courtroom after the hearing. What did he have to say for himself? Feels very good about what happened in court today. This is video of Bob McDonald outside of the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. The judge questioned uh, both sides, grilled really the McDonald side uh, on several occasions, sometimes cutting them off. McDonald side argued that the jury instructions were flawed because there was no individual questioning whether the jurors could make a fair and impartial decision. It was like, well, if you could do that, sit down when they were questioned as a group or stand up. And of course, McDonald side thought that that was wrong. What did Johnny Williams actually get? McDonald's attorneys say he got access and tried to ingratiate himself, but that is not corruption. The U.S. attorneys argued, of course, meeting with cabinet members after getting gifts from Johnny Williams amounts to bribery. But the McDonald legal team is encouraged when a judge said, I see a lot of quid here, but I don't see a lot of quo. This is Bob Holsworth, who is a political analyst. That was big when the judge asked, said to the U.S. attorney, I see a lot of quid. I don't see a lot of quo. Well, you saw a lot of smiles on the defense side when the judge made that point, because that's essentially the point they have been making from the get-go. The defense has argued that Johnny Williams showered the family with all these gifts and loans, but at the end of the day, Bob McDonald did not take any definitive action on his behalf. What was the big point for the U.S. attorney side? Well, the big point for the U.S. attorney side was to say they're all wrong here. They said that, in fact, this is worse than some other corruption cases because Bob McDonald was an executive, that he took all of these gifts and then. He was the person who drove Johnny Williams' Ferrari home from Smith Mountain Lake, and six minutes after he got back to the mansion, told Bill Hazel to go meet his Secretary of Health to go meet with Johnny Williams. And the U.S. Attorney says that's the corruption, that's the quid pro quo. If you're looking for it, that happened, and then that happened. It, what was the big, what was the big point for McDonald's side? That. I think the second point for McDonald's side that was very interesting today, we hadn't heard a lot about Andy, was this whole issue of pretrial publicity, where they argued that he cost the judge did not ask people who had been exposed to pretrial publicity whether they had already formed an opinion of Bob McDonald's guilt or innocence. Because he didn't ask them that question, they said the trial was fatally flawed because no one knew whether the jurors came in with that preconceived opinion. And I think that was surprising to a lot of us, that everyone in the jury pool, they said, okay, everyone stand up. The judge said this. If you can make a fair and impartial decision, sit down. But they weren't able to or did not question them any further than that. They didn't question them individually on that. The uh, defense very neatly described that as a stand up, sit down right. policy that was wrong. The prosecution said the defense could have asked individual questions. They didn't do it. Why should the judge have to do their job for them? Bob Holsworth, thank you very much. That is the latest from here. We've got a lot out there. Bob Holsworth, thank you very much. We'll have more coming up in our news during uh, the four, five, and six. That's the latest from Richmond. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.